in Grandfather's magical garden, where flowers whispered secrets and trees danced in the moonlight, a special celebration was about to begin. Grandfather, the wise guardian of the garden, had invited all his animal friends to a whimsical costume party under the stars. But this wasn't just any party, it was a chance for everyone to learn and grow together. As the sun set, the garden came alive with excitement. Flapjack, the bird, arrived first, wearing a shimmering cape that made him look like a majestic eagle. Flapjack, you look wonderful, Grandfather exclaimed. Remember, true beauty comes from kindness and helping others, not just our appearance. Flapjack nodded, understanding the importance of inner beauty. He decided to help Alia the turtle, who was slowly making her way to the party. Her shell was adorned with colorful gemstones, but she was struggling with the weight. Flapjack offered to carry some of her decorations, demonstrating that teamwork makes difficult tasks easier. Andy the ant adventurer led his family in a spectacular parade. Each ant wore a tiny top hat and carried a miniature cane. As they marched in formation, creating intricate patterns, Grandfather pointed out, look how the ants work together. When we cooperate, we can achieve amazing things that we couldn't do alone. Rosie, the baby squirrel, bounded into view with her rainbow striped tail. She was so excited that she accidentally bumped into Bella, the butterfly, causing Bella to drop her costume pieces. Instead of getting upset, Bella smiled and said, It's okay, Rosie. Accidents happen. Grandfather praised Bella's forgiveness, teaching the importance of patience and understanding. The Luna Moth arrived in a costume that changed colors with every movement. I was scared to try something new, the moth admitted, but look how beautiful it turned out. Grandfather nodded approvingly. Sometimes facing our fears leads to wonderful surprises. Tadio the Toad, usually shy, hopped into the party wearing a crown of water lilies. I'm the frog prince tonight, he announced proudly. Grandfather smiled. Tadio, you've shown great courage in stepping out of your comfort zone. Remember, confidence comes from within. Wiggly the caterpillar inched his way into the gathering, wrapped in a cocoon-like costume. I'm dressed as my future self, he explained. Grandfoa used this moment to teach about perseverance. Like Wiggly's transformation, big changes take time and effort. Never give up on your dreams. Pico the woodpecker arrived wearing a costume made entirely of fallen leaves. I couldn't find any materials, so I used what nature provided, Pico said. Grandfoa praised his resourcefulness. Pico shows us that with creativity, we can overcome any obstacle. As the party continued, Grandfather noticed Grumbo, the groundhog, watching from afar, looking lonely. The wise guardian encouraged the other animals to invite Grumbo to join them. Soon, Grumbo was laughing and dancing with the others, his armor of acorn caps clinking merrily. See how much happier we all are when everyone is included, Grandfather asked. The animals nodded, understanding the importance of kindness and friendship. As the moon reached its highest point, Grandfather gathered everyone around. My dear garden family, he began, his eyes twinkling. Tonight we've celebrated not just our costumes, but the magic that lives within each of us. We've learned about kindness, teamwork, forgiveness, courage, perseverance, creativity, and inclusion. These are the true costumes we should wear every day, the ones that make our hearts beautiful. The animals cheered, their costumes glittering under the moonlight, but their hearts shining even brighter with the wisdom they had gained. As the night ended, each animal left with not just memories of a wonderful party, but with valuable lessons to guide them through life in the magical garden and beyond. Grandfather watched them go, knowing that the real magic of the night was the growth and understanding that had blossomed in each of his dear friends.